Hey self-publishers, welcome, welcome. So this is part two of my journey so far. And I wanted to share with you that this is my uh, unit sold for low and no content books. I've stripped out the fiction books, sorry, the non-fiction books that I'm currently working on. So um, these are just solely low and no content books over this period of time. I know it's not great, but it's not too bad either. I would take the sales over a, a zero. So I think this is not unreasonable um, over this period of time. You know, I haven't hit the jackpot like some others have. <laughs> um, and in fairness, I also only work on the low and no content books when I can. You know, I've got other things happening in life. Um, so this is where I am at the moment. I'm going to include links to the channels and um, sources that have influenced my low and no content books um, journey the most. So um, those links will be in the description below. Make sure you check them out. Um, also, I, I haven't completely stopped low and no content stuff. Um, I Whenever I see a niche, you know, if I do find, um, I do some research and, and that, if I find it's interesting, I might do something. So that's kind of what Kelly Publish was talking about um, in one of her videos. I'll include a link to that in the description as well. Check her out. Um, and yeah, so I just want to share my journey so far with the low and no content stuff. You can check out my, my previous video for how the nonfiction uh, books are doing. Um, and I'll link that in the description, of course. Um, so yeah, that's it for today's update. I just wanted to share my journey. Um, if you enjoy the video, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and click that bell icon so uh, you get notified every time I put out a new video. Till next time, have a great day, have a great weekend. I shall see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.